All right, we are live. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the video. Uh, my name is Brian Oldenick, and this is going to be a principle-based review on how to start a fish and chips business. When it comes to this, it's pretty much like any traditional restaurant business that you're starting and having done it before, all right, with close friends of mine who have started uh, different types, a lot of different types of restaurant businesses. It's the same process, you know, you're dealing with first and foremost, a space. You need to look at a space that you're either going to lease, buy, or rent out, okay? Then you're looking at equipment, so you're looking at stoves, you're looking at ovens, you're looking at dishwashers, dish pit areas, you're looking at dry, dry storage areas, okay? You're looking at freezers, fridges, all these things and more, and then employees to fill it all up. Now, when it comes to that, just from a business perspective, having seen people start, you know, just small, small mom and pop shops when it comes to fish and chip restaurant, um, anywhere from, you know, spending $50,000 up to an over $100,000 to start, you know, used and new equipment, okay, it, it's going to vary depending on location, size, how many employees you hire, but just in a sense of broadness in this video review, when it comes to dealing with all that stuff, I'm just going to tell you, Employees, equipment, supplies, inventory, and shipping and handling when you get shipping from, you know, food that you're ordering, wholesale food that you're ordering um, from like GSC or wherever you're ordering from, you know, dealing with all that stuff, it can be not just emotionally draining, okay, but physically demanding, demanding and mentally demanding, all right, you're dealing with all that stuff and it's not just, you know, the upfront investment and the investment to keep it running all the time, day after day, month after month, year after year, but it's your time that you got to invest in the business on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. And if, you know, some of you have been in the restaurant business, you know exactly if you've ever been an employee in it, you know exactly how hard, all right, people work, the managers, the owners, they work hard. And I'm talking not about chain restaurants, chains are different because you don't really see the owner there but I'm talking about a small restaurant that you've started yourself. So when it comes to a fish and chip restaurant, all right, a fish and chip business, if you're looking at this just to be your own business owner, if you're looking at this to take control of your income, to create stability in your life, I would advise you from a business perspective, before you head down this path, learn how to create a leveraged, high profit margin business model where you have lower overhead and lower workload, all right? And my story with this, if you hear me out here for a minute, goes back about a year ago, when I transitioned from a traditional brick and mortar business and I came across a person who was building a business on the internet. And now the internet's not the only way to go to build a business. If I told you that, I'd be lying. But it's important you know this before you consider starting a fish and chip restaurant or any type of restaurant or traditional business because this person I came across, I actually met them and started interacting with them on Facebook. And the reason was, was because I always saw them traveling. I always saw them doing things in really cool places and never having like time and money be an issue for them. And they're making a high multiple six figure income, traveling around the world, building their business at the same time. Heck, I thought it was really cool that they're actually able to pick up and build their business in countries where they didn't even speak the language and just kind of live there for six months because they felt like it, because they had internet access. So because they had time freedom, location freedom, it was, it was pretty cool to me. I mean, at first, I didn't really believe it, <laughs> just to be completely honest with you. Um, I hadn't really ventured into the internet before, but uh, came across this person, and I started to model and copy them. And in less than my first month, in total of 90 days later, I was able to create a full-time income business working part-time. Those are not average or typical results. I'm not guaranteeing you the same results because I worked my butt off. I had to learn some things. But I share that with you strictly because, and you're going to want to know this, if you're looking at starting a fish and chip business only because you want to build an income and build a business to be your own boss, to not being told what to do and how to do it all the time, to take control of your income and to be able to do what you want when you want. If that's really what you're looking for, learn to build a business on the internet. And if you're following me here and ending with this video, if this makes sense to you and you want to learn how to do this, if you're willing to be coachable, if you're willing to learn and you're willing to put in work, Connect with me on my site, check it out, it's 123marketingtips.com. I'll put a link in the description below, and regardless of if you connect with me or not, I appreciate your time, I hope you got value of this, and see the bigger picture in this video review of how to really get the results that you want, regardless of if that is truly with a fish and chip business and you enjoy that, or it's not. So take your time, enjoy, and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.